Today's lecture entitled, Know Your Stools, will be investigating our bowel movements and to see if they hold clues as to our current health status. So, we'll be taking a look at both textures and shades. Now, taking a look over here at textures, if you have hard, solo, clumpy kind of stools, then this may be indicative that you are lacking fiber in your diet and that you might be slightly dehydrated. Same with a lumpy sausage shaped stool. This also may be indicative of uh, low fiber intake. Now if you have sausage shaped stools with cracks in it, this could be indicative of just having um, uh, a low uh, water intake, so up the fluids. And if you have soft sausage shaped stools this right here is ideal that is the type of poop that we want to have now if we have soft edgy blobs or fluffy mushy type of stools this could be indicative of an absorption problem so uh, if you have something such as Crohn's disease or possibly celiac disease then you might be um, not actually absorbing the nutrients from your from your stools, so, so you might need to call a physician if these types of stools persist for more than a few days. Now oily and sticky stools, this is indicative of an inability to absorb lipids or oils. So if you have a fatty, oily type of stool that sticks to the side of the toilet bowl, this might mean that uh, your stool is moving a bit too quickly through your GI tract where it's unable to absorb the oils or there is some sort of malabsorption and you might need to get that checked out. Also, at the end here, if you have watery stools, obviously we're having diarrhea. This could obviously be from either a bacterial or a viral infection and if the uh, diarrhea persists for more than one day, you should definitely call a physician and see if you need antibiotics or any other type of therapy. Now, switching over to shades of stool, we see here that we've got quite a rainbow of options that could occur within our stool. So obviously, right here, brown is our ideal poop, and this is how our feces should look after it's been processed through our GI tract. Now taking a look here at black, black could actually be indicative of a few things. So normally, if we have black stool, this could be an indicator of blood that has uh, occurred within the GI tract, but in the upper GI tract. So this means that blood has been present in the stool for a while and has been processed along with the rest of the nutrients and substances with the stool. So something such as stomach cancer or possibly a gastric ulcer where the bleeding occurred early on in the GIT got processed and by the time it exits through the anus, it has already turned black. However, also, black stool could also be caused from taking uh, medications such as Pepto-Bismol because the bismuth within the medication could react with the feces and cause the black tarry appearance. So if you're on Pepto-Bismol and you have the black stools, don't be worried. Just discontinue the medication and within a few days it should return to its normal, healthy brown color. Now, Taking a look at green stools here, this could be indicative of the fact that your uh, feces are moving through your intestines far too quickly and there isn't enough uh, time for your um, GI tract to reabsorb the bilirubin in the distal intestines. So this could just be a speed issue. It could also mean that you had a lot of leafy greens that are staying behind in your feces or it could have been St. Patrick's Day and you had a little bit too much green food dye in your beer and it stuck with your feces. So uh, definitely remember when you see green feces as to what you had ingested uh, previously to the episode. Now yellow stools, this is normally a greasy, foul smelling type of poop and this indicates an, an excess of fats and lipids within the stool. So this could be a malabsorption issue, again, like celiac disease, where you are unable to absorb the lipids and the fats, so these will stick around and literally stick to your feces. Now, white 
or light or clay colored stools, this could mean a bile duct obstruction. And if we have a bile duct obstruction, then that means we're not going to have bile entering the feces and there's going to be no color change. Hence, the um, clay or white colored stool. And these should definitely get checked out immediately. Now, a red colored stool, aside from food coloring, could also be indicative of blood in your feces. The difference between the red and the black, which both could indicate blood, is that the red is a more immediate or a lower GI bleed, meaning it could be something like hemorrhoids, where as soon as the hemorrhoid ruptures, the blood is already in the rectal region, so it doesn't have time to be processed and turn into the black tarry appearance. It is bleeding immediately near the anus, and this should um, definitely be checked out by a physician as soon as it occurs. So this is knowing your stool.